Assalamu alaikum friends i hope you are all well and enjoying your life today this is the second lecture regarding research methodology in linguistics and uh, our topic today is about uh, paradigm that mostly st students have problem that what type of their philosophical world view or their paradigm should be for conducting any research study so let's move today we are going to discuss uh, paradigm and uh, second one is research paradigm and third one is qualitative and quantitative paradigm i hope you will enjoy this lecture so let's move paradigm means a philosophical view of thinking it also means patterns this word paradigm is taken from the greek language and uh, it was first used by thomas kahu in 1962 in the history of uh, education or research but in educational research the term paradigm is used to describe a researcher's world view and world view is the perspective or thinking or school of thought or set of shared beliefs that informs the meaning or interpretation of the research data again paradigm is philosophical orientation and comprehensive belief system or you can say world view or framework that guides research and practice in a field so paradigm is a philosophical way of thinking it provides patterns and a guidance to researcher that in which way a researcher should think that its research is falling on so we will discuss this uh, term in a comprehensive way in our next slides as we have discussed that uh, research paradigm is a world view of the researcher or a philosophical way of thinking so it is important to know that uh, what is research paradigm so that we can use it for conducting any research study research paradigm inherently reflects the researcher's belief about the world because as it is mentioned in the previous slide that it is the world view of the researcher or investigator or you can say that a research paradigm is a conceptual lens through which the researchers examines the methodological aspects of their research project to determine the research method methods and methodology that will be used and to know that how the data will be analyzed and again it is the basic belief system and theoretical framework with assumptions about ontology epistemology methodology and methods so research paradigm is a total belief system of a researcher and it provides a framework so it falls in four basic assumptions that is ontology epistemology and methodology and methods these terms we are going to discuss in our next slides epistemology is a greek word which means knowledge and it describes how to know something how to know the truth or reality or knowledge its nature forms and how it can be acquired it also talks about how it can be communicated to other human beings it focuses on the nature of human knowledge and comprehension that the researcher can possibly acquire or be able to extend broaden and deepen understanding in the field of research so epistemology is basically knowledge or you can say truth and reality that a researcher is going to discover by conducting any research study it is important that researcher must know that what is he or she is going to discover through conducting any research study because the basic purpose of any research is 
to add something in the currency of knowledge so epistemology is the basic knowledge or the basic thing that a researcher is going to discover by conducting any research study ontology is a philosophical way of the nature of existence or reality of being or becoming as well as the basic category of things that exist and their relations it helps to conceptualize the form and nature of reality and what investigators believe can be about the reality to understanding how investigator make meaning of the gathered data and it can start thinking about the research problem its significance and approach it by contributing its solution so ontology is about the nature of reality or knowledge that exist in the world it is important for a researcher to know that what type of the nature of this reality which exist in this world so that a researcher can contribute in the currency of knowledge by forming research problem and establishing the significance of its research study and approaching it to its solution in short ontology is about the nature of existence or reality that is important to know for conducting any research study methods in paradigm are the data collection tools or devices that are used for conducting any research study in order to collect data so data can be collected by using these tools they are interviews questionnaire group discussion and tests methodology of a paradigm is a broaden term which refers to the research design methods approaches and procedures used in an investigation that is well planned to find out something for example data gathering participants instruments used and data analysis are all parts of the broad field of methodology it articulates the logic and the flow of the systematic process followed in a conducting a research project to gain knowledge about a research problem it also includes assumptions made limitations encountered and how they were mitigated or minimized in considering the methodology for research proposal a researcher must ask him or herself this question that how shall i go about obtaining the desired data knowledge and understanding that will enable me to answer my research questions and thus make a contribution to knowledge so methodology is a broader term and it includes research design methodology procedures or assumptions limitation that a researcher now and want to include in its research study for designing methodology a researcher must ask this type of question that how he or she can answer these question and contribute in the currency of knowledge by conducting any research study